Mom's trying to get me to drive the Honda. Is that something you want to do? No, like when I get my car. Hey. <laughs> Well, that's cool. You have the Honda. I'll have this. No, it's mine. Why? Because. No, Hondas are good. Oh, well, they're not. <laughs> I'm Kyler Grover. And I'm Hayden Grover. And I'm Dad Grover. And this is day number seven of the Father Son's Truck Build. All right, so, so far you've seen us tear the front end of this truck down. We pulled the motor out. We got the motor down to Thunder Racing Engines. They're down there rocking and rolling on it. But for today, we are going to address this interior. These guys are going to pull the seats out, pull the carpet out, pull the dash pad, pull the door panels, pull the miscellaneous trim, all that stuff, and get this thing ready so that when we move it into paint, we can paint the outside and the inside at the same time. So that is the agenda for day number seven. Aww. What we're gonna do is Hayden, you are gonna start in here. Uh, we're going to take all that crap out. We're gonna put it in bags. And then we're going to pull the inner glove box out so that we can get access behind it. While you are doing that, Kyler, the instrument panel, you see these little screws around there? Pull all those out and put them in a bag that I'm gonna label instrument panel, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't wanna run. Boom! Okay, so what's going on here is Kyler is undoing these two bolts. And you see how these have a clamp that clamps this up on this tube? This is called your steering column, okay? When he loosens those, this is gonna be able to fall down. So we're gonna drop it down a little bit. You don't need to undo them all the way, buddy, probably. Just undo them a little ways so that we can drop this down and then this uh, instrument panel can come out, okay? Look at that, it's a perfect fit. Okay, it's a cable, about as big around as my pinky, black one, that threads right into the back side in the middle of this, probably. And as I'm pulling on it. Found it. Found it? Do you see how it unhooks? Does it unthread? Mm. So first, it's just this one little bunch, and then it turns into two, and then it turns into three. No, we're not I'll looking for the together. bunches of wires. There's just one solid big black one. It's about the size of my pinky. Yep, found it. Found it? That's not it, that's the windshield washers. It'll be in about, right about here, at about this level, at about that height, way up at the top. Can you see it? A radiator. Ah, don't fall. What, don't fall? Anything don't fall. I don't like working in the trucks. Why? Because what happens if something gives out? Oh, here it comes. There, that's the speedometer gear. It spins and makes the speedo spin. I think that's enough. I think that's enough? Don't break it. Okay, go feed me some pork really quick. What do you see there? See how it hooks on the back? Do you see it? I'm Threads on there? Who, who said it threaded on the back? Dad. Dad! No, oh, uh, Dad. I didn't say that. Oh, uh, uh, Dad. No, oh, uh, Dad. Oh, uh, uh, Dad. I was talking about this one. <laughs> It's still now hold it still so they can look at it because you guys, I'm gonna show you how to restore one of these. So you see how the gauges are kind of yellowy and it, it's kind of hard to see and all that stuff. Kind of a little dirty and old looking. Well, we're gonna go through it and clean it up and make it look a lot nicer. Speedometer, Speedometer cable. For those of you viewing at home, I got dirt inside my ear. Now I'm trying to get it out of my ear. That's pretty good. Okay. Cigarette lighter. We don't need that. We don't need that. Somewhere. Ooh, that's how we could light firecrackers. <laughs> that's how we used to do it. 
Dash pad coming out. Don't break it. I broke it. Wait, wait, don't don't jam on it like that. Okay, this way. Like, wait, wait, wait. Let me get the side there. Yay! Yay! Straight out. What's under there? The poo? Ew. <laughs> na -na -na -na. Hey, there's wasps. Yay! I will fight them with push rods and I will use them as ninja stars. Ryan. And they work really good for those of you at home that don't know this. Here's a quick tip. Push rods are the most awesome throwing stars in the world. Take note of that. Why are they in there so bad? Because they've been in there since 1971. Oh, it went in. Yep, it's a bolt. could be a sign spinner. <laughs> this thing's loose as a goose. Good enough. Hmm. Why is it so big? It was completely undone and he was spinning it in the hole. Okay, hey, got it. Surprise, huh? Okay, don't throw it. Hey, I'm gonna walk over here and show the nice people at home. Yay! Yay! Ta-da! Ta-da! Hey, sit it down. Ah! There. Got it. Spot. Okay, let's get the carpet out. Perfect. Try to roll it over itself. It has a sticky crap on it. Yeah, because it's glued down. I have to pull it off of there and then we might have to scrape some of it. Try to get this crap off. We have finally reached the end of day number seven on this father-son's truck build. What did we do, guys? So we did the dash, we pulled out all the gauges and the radio and the dash pad and the heat, like the fan and all that stuff. There was a bolt that we couldn't get to, so we just left it. And so dad is gonna paint around it when that comes and we got the door panels off, and yeah. And we also got the carpet and the foam off, and we noticed that there was a little bit of rust under it. A lot of bit of rust. We got a lot of work to do. What else did we pull out of there, Aiden? Mm, the the seat. seats. Yeah, so now, we are at the point where we we reached our goals for today. Our goal was to get this baby torn down. We got the headliner out also. Uh, and so we're at the point now where we can begin our metal work. We can start doing all this stinking rust repair and get this baby ready to, to move on into paint. So if you've got anything that you'd like to say, please comment below. Don't forget to like the video. It helps us out a lot on the channel. Uh, it helps so that YouTube will find us more often. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel so that you can, you know, keep up to date on all of our new videos. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.
to the side. Country thug giving them a hell of a ride. Now you see me fly by.